So I've had a blast reviewing these two studies, the Lancet articles on uh, low carb versus high carb diet. This uh, I've done several. Uh, I'm doing a series on them, several videos so far, and probably a couple more to go. The one today is going to be on people and environments. By the way, uh, the Pure Study did what ten or eleven, twelve different environments, um, whereas the uh, and people, um, whereas the Eric study or the the follow up study for Eric. Uh, was in the U.S., four communities in the United States. Very, very different, much more homogenous group in the United States. Um, and more than that, much more homo homogenous environments, um, probably a much higher uh, group of people who had uh, insulin resistance. But again, maybe not because they were all young. It tended to be younger. Um <clears throat> As I've gone through these studies, um, at first uh, I was baffled by what was going on. And I think I, uh, I was doing the same thing that most of us are doing. I was making a lot of assumptions, um, which may not have been um, correct. Assumptions like, People are the, are the same all over. Their genetics are, are what, 98, 99, maybe 99.5% maybe overlap. So therefore, um, what's good for one person is good for another. Uh, maybe forgetting about environments and lifestyle. Um, I think that's what I'm going to deal with today. We'll show a few pictures of folks, their environments, their lifestyle, and raise the question of, is, <coughs> excuse me, is a person and his or her environment <coughs> the same all over the world? And the answer is obviously no. <coughs> uh, pardon me, that may be my uh, ACE inhibitors acting up, my Ramipril. But um, <coughs> as I'm getting deeper into these analyses, I'm develop I'm actually... I think that's one of the two big issues. I think the biggest issue, though, is is a carb, a carb, a carb. In other words, a carb is not a carb is not a carb. Um, riced uh, cauliflower is not at all the same as rice, at least in terms of glycemic index. And with all of this focus on keto diet, keto this, keto that, I think everybody's assuming that every everybody in the whole world is healthier if they get the the carbs out of their diet. I don't think that's true. I don't think you want to get. I've never felt like you want to get broccoli and cauliflower and peppers and all of these other plant based foods that are full of carbs out of your diet. What you do want to do though is decrease the glycemic index. <clears throat> we may have to go a little bit deeper into that, but that's not the um, the topic of the video today. The video today, I'm going to read through the inclusion criteria and um, go into some uh, details about the, the subjects of the studies. In other words, people and their natural environments, their lifestyle. Um... <clears throat> Just a couple of other editorial points. This has really thrown a lot of keto guys uh, off kilter. Uh, Ken D. Berry, for example. I, I like a lot of the stuff that I see and hear from Dr. Berry. Um, and he's also a, a relatively young, maybe middle-aged doc near Nashville, Tennessee. What can be bad about that with a southern accent? Um, <clears throat> But there's a lot of stuff I don't I don't agree with on his summaries of these statements. I don't think I don't think the um, the science is bad. I don't think Lancet has become a trashy journal. I don't think um, Harvard's become a trashy university just because they have this fellow Walter Willett as the chair of nutritional epidemiology, and just because Wal Walter Willett has agreed with uh, the devil incarnate uh, Ansel Keys on a few things. I don't agree with any of that. <clears throat> I will make a quick introduction. 
I got some feedback that we all know who you are. Um, so no need to introduce yourself. Uh, a lot of you do. Uh, a whole lot of you don't. Brief in, and it's best practice to go ahead and do a brief introduction. So a brief introduction, Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. I'm a physician, started off as an ER doc, got very upset with uh, all of the preventable death, d- disease, and disability that I saw. Went to Hopkins, got training in prevention, did well, ended up uh, uh, running the program in prevention, uh, preventive medicine there. And um, for the 30 years since then, over 30, I've been teaching primary care docs how to do prevention and seeing a few patients in, in, in there too. This is the prevention channel. We go into the science behind prevention. Now, <clears throat> this, it, there are two studies. These are the studies we're talking about. The first one is the PURE study. It was published about a year ago in Lancet. It's a, um, you're, it's a large study of a, what? Gosh, uh, we'll talk about how many in just a minute and where. Uh, it showed that we should decrease the carbs in our diet. In fact, the authors made a call to the uh, Federal Guidelines, Dietary Guidelines Committee to cut carbs, to recommend cutting carbs. Uh, this year, August uh, 8, 18th or August 16th, 2018, Lancet published another article which says um, increased carbohydrate uh, or, or low carbs decrease your lifespan. So let's talk about these two studies for a minute and talk about people and environments. <clears throat> this is the second study. This was the one that was done in um, in the U.S. It's a follow-up to the ERIC trial. Eric is, and I'm just going to read that, under methods, uh, methods, the study design and participants. The atherosclerosis risk in communities, that's the Eric trial, A-R-I-C. The study is an ongoing prospective observational study of cardiovascular risk factors in four U.S. communities, Forsyth County, North Carolina, Jackson, Mississippi, suburbs of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and Washington County, uh, Maryland. Now, a key point, uh, they did initial interviews in 1987 and 89, um, and then did interviews again every five years or so. They did those with a thing called the food frequency questionnaire. And I'm going to have to do another video on the food frequency questionnaire because the food frequency questionnaire does not really give you clarity on a carb is a carb is a carb. They're gonna they're gonna show um, rice as a carb, just like um, rice to cauliflower. Now there's a calorie difference there, and I'm not gonna get into all of that. I'll do that in a later video. But right now, let's go back. So we just talked about the four communities in the Eric trial, which is the follow up. The follow up to the Eric was just done. Uh, recently. Here's the, the communities in the, in the PURE study. Methods, study design, and participants. The design and methods of the PURE study have been described previously. The PURE recruitment occurred between January 2003 and March 2013. Included individuals 35 to 70 years old from 18 low-income, middle-income, and high-income countries on five continents. We aim to include populations that varied by socioeconomic factors while ensuring feasibility of long-term follow-up when selecting the participating countries. We included three high-income countries, uh, Canada, Sweden, United Arab Emirates, 11 middle-income, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, China, Colombia, Iran, Malaysia, occupied Palestine territory, Poland, South Africa, and Turkey, and four low-income countries, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, and Zimbabwe, based on gross national income per capita from the World Bank classification for 2006. So, to get back to the point, people are not the same. Actually, maybe people are more the same than their environments and lifestyle. These kids, I've, uh, as I've mentioned before, 
obviously have some challenges in terms of their lifestyle and diet especially, or probably have some uh, challenges here. Coroner maize is a staple uh, in poor African countries and um, as well as uh, cassava. Both of them are uh, carbs. And both of them, at least corn, is a significantly high gly glycemic carb. I don't think glycemic index is a problem for these kids. And I don't think it's going to be a problem for anybody in a poor African country. <clears throat> what about Japan? In Japan, uh, a lot of rice in that diet. But, again, very, very different environment. And there is the perception that it's illegal to, uh, to be fat in Japan. The reality is, no, it's not. But... Uh, older people are measured. Their abdominal girth is measured by law in Japan, and there is some increased taxation. Or at least there was, what, five years ago when I was still working, ten years ago when I was still working at Toyota. Um, there was increased taxation for uh, having a larger abdominal girth. Again, that's Japan. This is obviously <clears throat> not... Um, this is obviously a hyperbole, um, somewhat, so, at least with the food here and the portion size. This gentleman obviously needs, he's uh, got a carb problem, for sure, but he's got a much bigger calorie problem. Now, he clearly needs to cut out the bun on that burger, but he also needs to cut out the meat as well. I mean, at least get it down to portions that... Um, that will help him to lose all of this fat because this fat is increasing his um, requirement for insulin. That's just biology. Um, now, <clears throat> if he cuts uh, the glycemic index of his food, he'll quit having quite, quite so many swings, quite as much hunger. He may be able to lose weight better. But <clears throat> that's just general stuff. Let's look for a minute at communities. Forsyth, North Carolina, from the ERIC study. Caucasian, uh, predominantly a lot of Caucasian, um, middle class. Bangladesh, ERIC study. Um, uh, significant problems with um, war-torn environment, poverty, um, we even there are even people living one of the I think one of the world's poorest slums is located on a on a uh, giant trash heap and I believe that's in Bangladesh we'll show that in just a, a minute now I don't think these people I don't think uh, carbs in their diet is one of their major health problems um, <clears throat> Jackson Mississippi uh, significant African-American co component. And if you look at the ERIC study, by the way, it's bo basically biracial, um, almost all African-American and Caucasian. Little to no Asian, and uh, little to no Middle Eastern in this. So again, you're starting to see some uh, BMI issues there. Speaking of Asian, Pakistan, Middle Eastern. Um, this is from the Pure Study. I, I, I mean, this is a picture of Pakistan, and Pakistan was covered in the Pure Study. I don't know if this specific community was. As we, we read in there, they realized that even in these that in these poor countries, uh, there are going to be po problems with follow up. So th they took some measures, which they didn't describe completely on how to get, um, to get follow-up on these folks for the pure study. Again, I mentioned Bangladesh a few minutes ago. I did have a picture of um, folks that living on the uh, large trash heap in Bangladesh. I've lost it with all my pictures now, but again, you start to get the, you get the point here. People are very, very different. Uh, their environments are even far more different than people are, at least biologically. There's another point here that is 
This lady is awash in a sea of peppers. And that peppers, those peppers bring me back to the point that <clears throat> when she writes on her uh, FFQ, her food frequency questionnaire, that she ate peppers, that's going to go down as carbs. But I don't think that caused her any problem in terms of her health. Um, and I don't think there was a significant glycemic index there. So again, <clears throat> we get back to that same old concept. Um, people hear these two studies, they think, oh, carbs are bad for you. We need to, to pull them out of our diet. And then they think, no, carbs are good for you. We need to put them back in. Or, or going low carb will kill you. Guys, this is like six blind men and the elephant. We need to look more deeply, examine the details, and then... Not just respond to one detail, but put all of those details together. I think a carb is not a carb is not a carb. And a, an overweight 60-year-old uh, uh, male in Jackson, Mississippi is not the same as a 15-year-old uh, cachectic um, Asian in Bangladesh. Thank you for your interest.